So we just lived through one of the most polarizing elections in modern American history. I woke up on November uh, 9th myself um, feeling like I didn't know half of my country, where they came from, what their perspective was, why they viewed things in the way they did, and what their rationale, what their particular motivations were for that. The problem that Spectrum is really trying to solve is the fact that generally our media sources and the information we consume end up reinforcing rather than challenging our existing biases around how we view the world and view politics. Hey, Jesse, can you talk right into the mic, please? Absolutely. Sure. And the more we follow the same sources we already follow, listen to the same commentators we already listen to, and follow the news uh, and um, comments that our friends are putting on Facebook, the more our political beliefs end up being reinforced in the same way that we have already been reinforcing those political beliefs. The Wall Street Journal did a very interesting study of this. Uh, some of you may be familiar with this. It's called the Red Feed, Blue Feed uh, Project. And in that, um, they highlighted feeds from liberal America and conservative America. In this particular feed, um, two individuals talking about uh, gun control. And as you can see from uh, the particular language and the particular angles that they have on this, they're talking completely past each other, two completely different things. In America, more than 60% of their members get political news from Facebook, according to the Wall Street Journal. So this is something that really, in this election cycle, has reinforced and deepened the divides that we already have in the United States. So Spectrum is designed to allow us and give us the ability to learn to speak our fellow <coughs> Americans' language by reading what they read, by seeing the sources they listen to, and starting to get a little bit more empathy for their side of the story. And it does it in the context of news that they're already reading. So if you're reading an article, we're going to surface up other results that are on the other side of the spectrum from your own so that you can start to follow other news sources and other media that is contrary to your own particular opinions. I'm going to show you a demo of that. So this is uh, Fortune magazine which typically has a right of center publication bias. See, we have a little widget in the bottom right corner down here that indicates the bias of that particular source. Now, as you continue to read, and you scroll down on that particular article, we're going to surface up other posts related to that same topic from the other side of the aisle. So we have Washington Post, New York Times, two left of center media sources. And this is drillable, so as you go to the Washington Post, for example, we're gonna see left of center publication bias, and then get other results from places like Fox News and National Review to con uh, contrast that particular set of opinions. So how Spectrum works under the hood, we're drawing upon um, media bias fact check, check for a lot of our sourcing information about the bias of uh, particular political sources. Um, they have a kind of old school design to them, but um, they're actually very good source of information about uh, media bias out there. Webpost.io um, is used to source other articles from other news sources, so say we want to find news related to Jeff Sessions on immigration, we're going to use web, uh, we're using uh, webpost.io to gather other news sources and other articles related to that particular subject matter, which we can then screen based on that particular bias. Now the virality component of this, and this is going to get built into this, but to get this word out and get more people using and engaging with Spectrum, um, the plan is to have uh, news feed content that overlays your existing approach to sharing media and sharing articles. So, you know, people are sharing news sources constantly on Facebook. We would be encouraging people and expecting people to use Spectrum to highlight their particular biases in the uh, articles and media that they're reading. So that instead of just posting up this article, they're saying, hey, here's my political stripes, 
I know that this is biased in a certain way, and I want to be honest and transparent about that. So future roadmap beyond that, uh, again, these are more features that we're planning on building as part of this. Um, crowdsource article bias. So right now we are working on the publication level. So we know that New York Times is left center, Fox News is right. Um, this would encourage users to uh, select their particular political leaning and then identify um, with that particular article, do I like that article as a liberal, you know, my conservative that likes this article. So that way you can see a diversity of opinions reading that particular news source or that particular um, subject matter on that site. And then comedian and bios, and this is basically a way of encouraging people to um, read more on Spectrum while also diversifying um, their opinion on Spectrum. So we would give you a Spectrum reading ranking that indicates are you reading mostly the stuff that you're already bought into, or are you trying to branch out and seek other sources of information? So that's Spectrum. See you the other side of the Spectrum. Thank you. Guys. <laughs> So you can find that hashtag see the spectrum. We've got our next group, uh, we vote.